Hi, Mayor Sam Adams here. Recently, we completed a series of neighborhood fairs that gave the public an opportunity to see the draft strategies for the Portland plan. The Portland Plan Fairs offered a family-friendly and fun environment for people to learn about the strategies for improving education, human health, the economy, the built and natural environments, all while making Portland a more equitable and sustainable city. The Portland Plan will be the city's roadmap for the future guiding our investments and direction as this city grows and changes. The goal of the plan is to make Portland a thriving and sustainable city with health and opportunity for all. The strategies featured in this video will help us get there. Tonight is one of the phase three Portland plan workshops and so um, the idea of this is to present to the community uh, where the initiatives are so far to give them a chance to sound off on are we headed in a direction that they agree with, are we headed in a direction that they don't think is a good idea, do they have other ideas, and so this is a chance to both review kind of what's being put in the plan as well as to have more in-depth conversations. Está, el plan está en forma borrador y en el momento las estrategias que están saliendo son equidad, eh, oportunidad eh, económica y educación y también eh, comunidades conectables, conectadas y más saludables. My name is Katie Larson. I live in the neighborhood. I live in Park Rose and um, I just heard that this was important. I'm involved in my community. Portland has been really eager to increase a density, but you need those amenities to go along with it to make it a good life for everyone. Also a healthy community is a place where you can feel safe taking your family outside, walking to school, and accessing the things you need every day, like healthy food, schools, jobs, banks, parks. So that's really what it's all about. What's going to be important about what comes out of these workshops is that we are get a better understanding of what people want in their hubs, how people want those connected greenways to look, and then where we're going to put those in the community. I'm Marie Johnson. I work at Bureau of Environmental Services. And this, um, what we have happening here is the community members are mapping where they'd like to see improvements in their neighborhood, where they would like to see um, changes in their business districts, how they'd like those to look, and where they'd like to see green connections, um, bikeways, habitat corridors, and those kinds of things to make their neighborhoods work better. I'm Jefferson Smith, and I represent this district in the legislature. I think the mapping project is interesting to help identify resource distribution in the city. Uh, my hope is that that we'll be able to do that in a layered way to understand that certain resources are different than other kinds of resources and help with uh, more equitable distribution going forward. And so that's, I think, an interesting and laudable project and learning more about, and that's pretty cool. The Portlanders want to see an equitable city. They want to see an inclusive city with opportunities for lifelong learnings. So I would say our, the education strategy is a new movement. It's a new idea for the city of Portland to take greater involvement in the community supports that wrap around a school. We're not proposing to change what the school's districts themselves do, but we'd like to strengthen the community supports around the schools. And the compelling reason we need this strategy is because there are a lot of people, the working poor people do work, but they're not making enough to be able to meet the needs. Wages in our county have been shrinking. The cost of living has been going up. The job growth has been flat. Jeffrey Lina, I'm from Foster Powell. My interest is probably in community development and uh, sort of sustainable neighborhoods. It's a very lengthy process and I'm not sure how close we are to completion, but at least we've got some good ideas in place. We are defining equity as when everyone has access to opportunities necessary to satisfy essential needs, advance their well-being, and achieve their full potential. How will we know? We actually, that's the beginning of the preamble where all Portlanders would have access to things like a high quality education, 
to living wage jobs, to safe neighborhoods, to he healthy natural environment, to efficient public transit, parks and green spaces, decent housing, healthy food. Um, so unless all Portlanders have access to those things and there aren't a lot of barriers for our community, then we would know that we have achieved equity. The discussion that's going on here is taking a look at, for individuals here in the community, what does equity mean to them? What would an equitable Portland really look like? Uh, the Portland plan is looking at a whole bunch of different kind of strategies to help get there. Changes, changes in institutional cultures, partnerships between schools and neighborhoods, uh, an equity office that will actually start tracking these issues. Hello, my name is Oleg uh, Kubrakov. I'm working in IRCO maybe around two years, I think. For, for the Portland plan, we educate people, diverse community for the Portland plan. We're working with uh, Slavic community, we're working with um, Asian community, Asian Pacific, African community, and other community too. And try to explain them, this is our future. This is not only citizen, American citizen future. This is uh, uh, immigrant refugee future, you know, because we live here, we came here, and this is very important for, uh, for us too. Come do it with us, take some responsibility, and then we can work together to make this place a better, better one. That's the idea. And then go to pdxplan.com and give us your feedback and your comments. Make sure your voice is heard.